I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So these are the top seven things cancer will never get caught doing. And the first thing, just letting just anyone in. Oh yeah, you, anybody, anybody come into my life. Yeah, it's no problem. No. A cancer is going to watch you before they ever consider befriending you. A cancer will leave people alone. They will not, you know, they're not just going to let anybody in. It's not how they operate. It's not how they roll. That's not their personality. Just letting anyone in. You have to prove yourself to them. You have to prove that you're worthy of being in a cancer's life because a cancer is a true friend. They're very compassionate, probably the most compassionate sign out there. They're a water sign and they're the crab. So they'll retreat into their crab shell, right? If they've been hurt because they love deeply and they hurt deeply. And oftentimes they're very misunderstood. But the first thing that they will never get caught doing is letting just anyone into their world. It's not going to happen. So if you have an expectation of that occurring with the cancer, you'll be waiting till hell freezes over for them to do that. It's just simply not going to occur. Okay. So what's the second thing that cancer will never get caught doing? Being selfish. They're a very giving sign. They're like the Pisces, which is their fellow, you know, water sign. The the water signs in general are very giving in terms of, you know, what they have, their food, their time, their energy, their money, they're, they're giving. You know, this is a loving sign. And so you you can't be loving and selfish. It's just, that's oxymoronic. They, those two things don't go together, right? Right. That's oil and water. You will never find uh, somebody that is uh, a water sign being selfish. You'll never find a water sign being selfish. They're very giving. And cancer is no exception. They are, they'll give you the shirt off their back. They're very loving and giving. And they're definitely not selfish with their love and their care and compassion for you. So if you have a cancer that's in your life, you have a true friend again. You have somebody that's going to love you. They're your ride or die. But just don't, you know, tick them off. Okay, but we'll get into that. What's the third thing that a cancer will never get caught doing? Showing no compassion or caring, which I just said. But this just comes in and, you know, yeah. A cancer is always going to be compassionate, even if they don't know you. It's a little different when they do. But they're, they are a very compa- you're going to, you're going to notice that about them right off the bat. They're very compassionate. They're very caring. They don't hide that. It's, they wear it well. It, it, you know, they, they're just a compassionate, caring person. They would probably make one heck of a good nurse because they'll have that really good bedside manner. And they're not going to just say things, you know, out the side of their neck to you if they love you. Now, if you have managed to, you know, get them to a point where they're actually upset with you, well, then, you know, you're going to see another side and we'll get into that. But they are uh, very compassionate and caring, a very compassionate and caring sign. And the fourth thing that the cancer will never get caught doing is being uncomplicated. Because they're a complicated sign. You you know, you're not always going to figure everything out about a cancer because a cancer, they will sit back and watch, like I said earlier. They're observers. They're watching and listening. It's what they do. If you're in a room full of people and somebody's just sitting there watching people they could even have be having conversation the cancer could be talking to people but at the same time they're observing you or just their surroundings in general whether there are people moving about and doing things the cancer's watching 
but they're, you know, they're, again, they're complicated. They're, they're a complicated sign. You're not going to figure them out and them observing you. You're never going to know what they're thinking. And it's going to leave you scratching your head like, hmm. you know, they're just, <laughs> they're a mystery. They're somewhat of a mystery, but you won't find them being, uh, you know, th they're complicated. They're complicated in relationships. They'll be complicated. You won't know if they're coming or going. Sometimes you won't always be able to put your finger on it because then, you know, at some point complication is going to set in and you're going to be looking around, you know, like, well, what do I, how do I, you know, what, what do I do here? Well, you may not, you may not be able to do anything if you're with a cancer and they have managed to, um, throw you off. I'll say, what's the fifth thing that cancer will never get caught doing? Being fueled by anger. Now it doesn't mean that they don't get upset or they don't get to that level of anger, but it doesn't fuel them. You know, like you have to put fuel into a car for it to drive. It won't go anywhere if you don't. So they're, they, they don't need, they're, they're not fueled by that. Their anger does not get them going is the point, right? Like a fuel gets a car going. Anger doesn't get a, a cancer going. They will suppress it. They may be passive aggressive, but they're not going to get angry for the most part. But if you push their buttons and you continue to push their buttons, you know, they're going to show some, they may have a burst of anger, but really for the most part, they are not a sign that gets angry. A Capricorn can get angry and show you, you know, you'd have to push them, but they're going to show that. Whereas a cancer, mm, not so much. You're just not going to see it like you would in other signs, maybe even in a Leo. So they're not fueled by anger. That doesn't move them. They'll retreat before they'll let you get them to that point. You know. All right, so what's the sixth thing that cancer will never get caught doing? Flirting or charmer? Well, <laughs> they'll never not not get caught. They're flirting, they're flirts and charmers. They're very flirtatious. And they can charm you. They can bring you in. They're very flirtatious. They can flirt. They're flirting. You know? They're never going to get caught not flirting or not being a charmer. If they do it well. They can uh, flirt and charm so well that they'll have you doing something that you didn't even want to do. Or you might see it and you just do it anyway because they're charming. And the last thing that a cancer will never get caught doing is releasing that grudge. Yeah, they're, they're not going to release the grudge. They're going to hold that grudge. Yeah, they're not going to release the grudge. They're going to hold on to that grudge and you may never get them back. But, but we have to go back to the other, uh, you know, things that they would never get caught doing, which is being selfish and not compassionate. They're a very loving and compassionate sign. So in order for them to get to the level of uh, holding a grudge, you would have to have hurt them. Now, oftentimes people don't even know when they've hurt a, a cancer. They just don't know. They don't know that they've done something because a cancer is quite sensitive. And so the best thing that you can do if you have a cancer in your life is to be as compassionate to them as they are to you. And you won't even get to number seven. But if you do, just know that a cancer will never, ever get caught releasing that grudge. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Do consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this reading. Buy me a coffee in the description box below. And until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.